Hello my viewers, welcome to Pamli Vlogs and in today's video we are going to discuss one of the gynecological condition called hematocolpos. hematocolpos. In this video we are going to define hematocolpos, signs and symptoms of hematocolpos, possible causes of hematocolpos, general management of hematocolpos, surgical management of hematocolpos and advice to the community about hematocolpos. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the notification bell, rate and subscribe, turn it on to future videos that we'll post and always comment, like and share this video. Welcome again and let's roll and let's do it. Hematocolpos, hematocolpos is defined as accumulation of blood in the female private part that is the vagina this accumulation of blood cannot come out due to the causes that we are going to discuss in some few minutes but before that let's look at how the patient will present to you or the signs and symptoms of this hematocolpus majorly this condition normally occurs during puberty uh, that is around 10 years onwards in females and they normally present to the gynecological clinic or a patient clinic with different signs and symptoms but majorly uh, we consider a history of lower abdominal pain that has occurred for some period of time that is more than a week sometimes most of them will come with abdominal distension low abdominal pain which is cyclic and is associated with whole pelvis and sometimes there might be discharge which might be false smelling and some uh, vaginal bleeding might also be experienced there are some changes in urine output and uh, this is maybe due to constipation and you will also get that some of them may develop fever hotness of the body that is due to now bacteria is setting in some will also experience tenderness of breast and pelvic pain also associated with cramping so when we get a client like this or when we get a patient like this we normally send for what we call obstetric ultrasound or what we normally known as pelvic scan or simple scanning uh, involving the uterus and the entire uh, reproductive system of the female then uh, with this result we'll be able to look at uh, what might be the cause of this particular hematocolpus uh, majorly number one cause of this hematocolpus is what we call imperforate hymen imperforate hymen hymen uh, in female is supposed to be spanning around the whole uh, vaginal area and there's a small hole uh, which normally help during menstruation and this normally help the blood to flow out when a woman is attending her menses but in case of hematocolpus in imperforate hymen there is accumulation of blood inside the vaginal cavity and there is no space or there is no hole that will allow the vagina, uh, will allow the uh, blood to flow out of the vagina. So that, we, that is what we call imperforate hymen, meaning the hymen is spanning all around the vagina without any small hole that will allow the blood to flow outside the vaginal area and this normally occurs earlier but it is normally experienced by these females when they reach puberty particularly when they start having menstrual flow and when there is accumulation of blood in the uh, vaginal area and there is no uh, outlet then this patient will start experiencing those signs and symptoms that i was talking about uh, majorly pelvic pain abdominal distension and even vaginal discharge as i already explained above some other causes are congenital malformation or even disorders of the vaginal area and the cervical area we call this one cervical atresia vaginal atresia or transverse vaginal septum 
Now, how can we manage this? In imperforate hymen, uh, we will do a minor surgery of creating a space by uh, incising the tissues that is surrounding the vagina. Remember I said the uh, hymen is spanning around the whole vaginal area. Then we'll incise this particular tissue and create a hole to allow the menstrual flow. It's just a minor surgery that is taking uh, some few minutes to be done. But um, others like uh, transverse vaginal septum, cervical atresia, and even vaginal atresia will require special attention, will require major surgery to rectify this, and this one will require a help of a qualified gynecologist who will do this particular surgery. Now, advice to the general population is that uh, most of the people normally do not know what is happening to their young females when they come to the clinic. Uh, some believe on traditional matters, traditional issues that they have been cast, their daughter have been cast, their daughter is not experiencing menses and her time is passing, but this particular female has intense pain. So we have differential diagnosis or even symptoms and signs or even conditions that may mimic this hematocorpus, but we will rule them out when you come to uh, the facility. For example, somebody may have ovarian cysts, which I've talked about. Uh, somebody may have uterine fibroids that we'll talk about, or even uh, the worst one, ectopic pregnancy. So we advise the general population that if some uh, of your daughters or any female presenting with particular signs and symptoms that we've mentioned ab about, please do not take them to traditional uh, ways of management, but rather bring them to the professionals like us so that we can be able to manage them very, very well. Otherwise, thank you for watching and always stay in this channel because more medical videos are coming. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly please hit this notification bell, return, subscribe, turn it on for more videos that we post and always like, share and put your comments. It's really, really help you. Otherwise, muchas gracias and see you in the next video.